Welcome to the Global Interview. Thank you for listening. This is where you can keep up to date with all the latest news and information direct from leading creatives, leaders, and thinkers. We can help to keep you right up to date with all the latest information from interesting people who make a real difference in this globally connected world. You can find out more about the show at theglobalinterview.com. Enjoy the episode. Pat Kane, founder and managing director of Reutzi. Pat Kane is the founder of Reutzi, a one-stop shop for minimal waste lifestyle based in Dublin, Ireland. Pat runs her business, physical store and website, and also showcases her products and services at markets and pop-up shops across the country. Pat has graduated from Cambridge University in Business Sustainability Management. She is also a columnist for Mums and Tots magazine, and she contributes to several websites, TV and print media regularly having featured on vehicles such as Image Magazine, The Irish Tatler, Image.ea, The Gloss Magazine, Ireland, AM, Virgin Media One, The Spill Podcast, The Futurist Podcast, RSVP Magazine, Food, and Wine Magazine, The Pat Kenny Show, Irish Daily Mail, Irish Times, Sunday Times, and Sunday Independent. Before starting her entrepreneurial journey, she held various executive positions in the corporate world, She was a senior executive at Digicel in the Caribbean and Central America as well as Director of Customer Experience at Paddy Power Betfair PLC. Living in Dublin with her husband and two boys, Pat believes that being happy involves being healthy, body and mind, and wholeheartedly embracing the world we all in, and having a great time while doing it. Tell us about your current role and what you like about your career and areas of focus. I am the founder and MD of Reutzi. Reutzi is Ireland's one stop for sustainable living. We offer over 700 ethically sourced and sustainably made products as well as educational programs for companies and schools. I personally really enjoy meeting customers and discussing sustainability, why, what, and how being it at our store or an event. What inspires you, motivates you, helps you to make each day count? My family inspires me every day. My aim is, to certainly leave a better world behind for my kids. Outside of your professional work area, what hobbies or interests do you have or what other areas of your life are of real importance to you? I am an avid runner and gardener. At the moment, summer, I am enjoying spending time outside looking after my plants and teaching my kids all about nature and why it's so important to look after it. When it comes to your life chosen career, is there a phrase, quote or saying that you really like? There's one that I don't like, work with what you love, and you won't work one day in your life. This doesn't exist, you will be working harder than ever, smiley face. I do like saying do the best you can until you know better. Then do better it's by Maya Angelou. What are you most proud of in your life? Personally, my family. Professionally, I am proud I have taken the leap of faith that is to launch my own business. What do you wish you had known when you started out? I wish I had said yes to help, I find it very hard to delegate but trying to get better at it. Who do you most admire in business, academic or creative circles? I really admire Dr. Dorothy Maxwell, head of sustainability for Brown Thomas and Arnott's. Dorothy is an extremely knowledgeable individual yet so relatable. In general, I admire every single person who decided to go for it and launched their own business. It's an incredible achievement. What companies, brands, or institutions do you like or do you think are getting it right? In Ireland, think Brown Thomas and Arnott's are nailing it. They have consistently improved their sustainable practices, never over-promising but always over-delivering. What is the best advice you have ever received? You can do anything but not everything prioritize. What drives or motivates you each day in a work environment? Feedback from our customers and knowing that we are doing everything we can do break the stigma around sustainability. What are your thoughts on the future of social media? Social media has made me more in tune with our customers. It has given a voice to our brand and a relationship with them. The struggle is finding the right balance. You want to be present, but you don't want to overwhelm people with meaningless messages. I rather focus on relevant nuggets of information, events and product launches than sharing hashtag oot and other trendy bits. What is your favorite social media platform, and why? 
Instagram, it's easy to use, very visual and fun. Do you have a mentor, or have you ever been a mentor to anyone? I don't have an official mentor per se but have a great network of friends that are always there to give me advice whenever I need. How do you network? What is your preferred way to network? Events and markets were always the best way to meet people and start conversations. In this world post-COVID-19, social media has to be one of the best ways. What advice would you have for someone looking to get into the same area of work? Be authentic. I see so many businesses working on what I call copy plus paste model and that is extremely disappointing. To be unique, to add your own personality to your business is key. What do you feel is the most common reason for people failing or giving up? High costs, tight margins and not enough volume. This is a disastrous combination and one not many think about when setting up their own businesses. How do you define success, and what lessons have you learned so far that you could share with our audience? Success is believing that I can. Self-belief doesn't necessarily come naturally to us, but when you are able to leave the infamous imposter syndrome behind life changes in many unexpected ways. What skills do you feel have helped you to become successful? My background in business has certainly helped me. Is there anything new that you are working on or involved in that you would like to share? We are working on a few partnerships to spread the word on sustainability even further. Education is one of our main pillars, and we have been running lunch and learn sessions for businesses across Ireland as well as eco audits, where we identify quick wins for businesses to get their eco on. Thank you for listening to this interview on The Global Interview. You can join the Global Interview newsletter at theglobalinterview.com. Thank you for listening to this episode from The Global Interview. We appreciate your support. If you would like to find out more, please visit theglobalinterview.com.